Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Sin Show. I am your host, Chandler Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Today is Sunday, July the 25th, 2021. Got a happy birthday shout out. Going out to Kung Malabulaka and uh, Malabulaka Kalagung and Elizabeth Bushhog and Gina Adams. And Roger Hunter, Tammy Hinkle. And so here we go. Without further ado, here's birthday song for the five of you. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Roger. Hey, Gina. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Kong. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So happy birthday, I'm going to say. You know, you're a one more year older today, so happy birthday to you, I say. I said, hey, Kong. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Gina. Hey, Roger. Hey, Tammy. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. Why, that's another trip around the sun that you made. I'm hoping you're in special, enjoying your special day because, well, it's a uh, happy birthday day today. A uh, happy, happy birthday day today. Happy birthday day. Happy birthday to y'all and many, 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 many more. How about them friends, Shinsho, 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 Shinsho people that are on the Shinsho. People that like the Shinsho sharers. Yep, Cindy Welch, that's right. My Pokey Pal, Amanda Sue Little. And the Shinsho sharers, Doug Bell Bell, a.k.a. Steve Clary. And Richie Humberto. Yep, 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 yep. And let's see, that'd be it for the Shinsho shout outs. Looks like we're going to start our weather forecast, and the weather forecast tonight is going to be brought to you by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church is located at 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri, 63301. Pastored by ordained pastor John Schumer. Special events scheduled for the uh, weekends. I'm not sure whether we're going to do uh, when, when the next one is. We just had one this past Friday. Special events, watching of The Chosen, first episode of The Chosen. Excellent movie, if you get a chance. Uh, actually, it's a series, not a movie. Excellent series. So, if you get a chance to watch that. Wednesdays, our uh, power prayer from two, uh, uh, one thirty to 2.30. That's right. Every Wednesday, come on in. Sundays, uh, services start at 11 a.m. in the morning. So... That's Sunday, 11 a.m. in the morning on uh, Sundays. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church, located at 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri. Right across the street from the St. Andrews Annex, which is right behind St. Andrews Plaza, which we're right exactly across the street from Greener's Pub. Yep, that's right. No better place to be than across the street from a bar. That's right. That way, when they come out, they can come on over and Stumble on indoor and be safe. You know what I'm saying? Up and then uh, there's a uh, yeah a a a a a alcohol's in this building across the street also. And then there's the kinder care. Get them while they're young, folks. Get them while they're young. They're in the pen right next door. Whenever we come uh, on Wednesdays prayer meeting, they're right there to talk to you every day. Whenever I come out of church, I talk to the little ones. Anyway, weather forecast for the remainder of the day. Uh, It's about 87 degrees out there right now, but that doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. No serene. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible early. And then some clouds with low temperatures around 69 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for Monday, July the 26th, Sunny skies with hot temperatures, high temperatures of 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be north at 5, 10 miles per hour. And clear skies overnight with low temperatures around 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Yes, three, Bob. How about Tuesday, July the 27th? Temperatures are going to be way up there. Yes, three, sunny and hot. High temperatures of 94 degrees. Winds are going to be light and bearable. And a mostly clear skies overnight with low temperatures around 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Height, mm, again, winds south, southeast, about 6 miles an hour. Uh, and hour that's light and variable. Bull, 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 bull. And uh, Wednesday, July the 28th, sun and a few showers. 
uh, no, sun and a few passing clouds, no showers, hey, ain't got to take no shower on, on uh, Wednesday, hey, there we go, some of them kids is going to like that, mm-hmm. yeah. ain't going to take no shower today, no sure, Bob, all right, anyway, Sunday, a few passing clouds, hot, high temperatures around 96 degrees Fahrenheit, winds are going to be light variable south to southwest around 5 miles per hour. And then a few clouds from time to time with low temperatures around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable south to southwest at about 5 miles per hour. And then Thursday, July the 29th, we're going to have sunshine and clouds mixed together. Hives around 97 degrees Fahrenheit with winds west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Partly uh, cloudiness, partial cloudiness, um, early with some scattered showers and thunderstorms later on during the night. Um, That's Thursday night, folks. Low temperatures around 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 30%. Oh, pity D, 30%. Ah, no big percentage for you and me. And then Friday, July the 30th. That's right, the 30th. July of the 30th. Wildly scattered showers over... Widely, widely, wildly, widely scattered showers or uh, thunderstorms early and partly cloudy with high temperatures of 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain 30%. Partly cloudy skies with low temperatures around 68 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. Winds are going to be east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that, my friends, is your five-day forecast for the St. Charles of Ewing area. Since how this is Sunday, how about let's do a, 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 um, a ballad. And, and not only a ballad, but a ballad with some faith music to it. And not only that, but something by Elvis Presley. I come to the garden alone When the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses, and He walks with me, and He talks with me, and He tells me I am His own, and the joy we share as we tarry there. None other has ever known. He speaks, and the sound of his voice is so sweet. The birds hush their songs, and the melody that he gave me within my heart is ringing. Oh, when he walks with me, and he talks. With me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tear me there, none other has ever known, never known. All right, hey, I've done my best rendition. You know what I'm saying. That's the Elvis Presley tune. You know, I can't keep up with them Elvis Presley tunes. It's all that much, you know. Let's see, I know there's other ones out there, though, that he, uh, um, How Great Thou Art. I know he done that. Song lyrics, How Great Thou Art, Elvis Presley. Oh, Lord, my God, we're an awesome wonder. Consider all the world's hands at me. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. The power throughout the universe displayed. Oh, in Christ. Shall come with a shout of acclamation and take me home 
what joy shall fill my heart then I shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim my God how great thou art and sings my soul my Savior God to how great thou art, how great thou art. Amen sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. All right, hey, looks like it's story time. Uh, oh, that was going to be brought, 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 brought to you by Jamie Christopher. That's right. Mm, seasonal Reese by Jamie. That's right. When you have a something, a something a, some sort of a, a special occasion coming up, take a look on Seasonal Reese by Jamie's Facebook page and uh, have a good look. Peruse her products of previous, part of previous products of things gone by. Seasonal things gone by, baseball, you name it, Jamie can do it. She's quite the crafty growl. So check out Seasonal Reese by Jamie on Facebook. All right. Well, all right. He <laughs> then. All right. Let's see. There was something else I was going to bring up and show you, just to show you just a little bit. I was going to talk about the Hometown Cafe. Yesterday, Bob, the Hometown Cafe is... Located out in the House Springs, Missouri, in Jefferson County. And there's a, because it's story time, folks. Uh, there's a, a, going to be a special reading there Saturday, uh, Saturday, August the 31st at 3.30 p.m. for children. Also, there's going to be uh, some craft time making and decorating thank you cards for people that you are thankful for. Oh, that's July 31st. Yeah, okay. That's Saturday, July 31st out at the Hometown Cafe in uh, 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 House Springs, Missouri. Go out there and ask. It's a small town. They'll all know where it is. All right, here we go. Here's our story for today. It is called, well, it's called the story of Abraham and Isaac. Once upon a time, there lived an old couple, Abraham and Sarah. After many years of waiting to have children, they were finally blessed with a baby boy by the grace of God in their old age. Their baby's name was Isaac, and he, his name meant he laughs. Isaac was dearly loved and well taken care of by his parents. One day, God decided to test Abraham's faith in God, and so he asked Abraham to offer his only son to him as a sacrifice. Now Abraham and Sarah were greatly a, a saddened by God's order, but however, after much con contemplation, they decided to believe in God and decided to sacrifice their only son to him. And, well, God had ordered Abraham to a certain mountain to offer his son as a sacrifice. Well, even though Abraham was greatly saddened by about this, he willingly took his son to the mountain. And the journey had been long and tiring, but Abraham had also brought two men with him who accompanied Abraham and Isaac to the foot of the mountain. The journey had taken three complete days. Abraham left the two men at the foot of the mountain, and from there Isaac and he climbed the mountain alone. Upon reaching the spot God had asked them to, Abraham began to build an altar. And after the altar was built, and he put wood on it, he tied Isaac to the altar. 
And even though Abraham's heart was breaking and he could not stop crying, he still went about making the necessities and preparations. Then Abraham took out his knife and was about to sacrifice Isaac. But before he could do so, an angel of God appeared. You need not sacrifice your son, the angel said. You obeyed God and his commands. And God loves you, Abraham. And the angel, that's what the angel told Abraham. And so, Abraham was relieved. But the sacrifice still had to be made. Just then, a ram appeared out of the nearby bushes. Abraham sacrificed the ram and went back happily with his son. God said that he would be blessed. And he would bless Abraham and his family. And his because God was pleased. And God said that there that his descendants, Abraham's descendants, would be as many as the stars in the skies. So anyway. Anyway, uh, what Abraham did not, did was similar to what Heavenly Fathers had done. Heavenly Father had sacrificed his son for the sake of the people. And just like Jesus who was willing to die at his father's command, Isaac did the same. Okay, here we go in the Daily Bread portion of the program. The Daily Bread portion of the program is brought to you today by the letters A and no, by the Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed in one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2021 will be Psalms 37 through 39 and Acts 26. Okay, let's see. The Daily Bread portion of the program and the Daily Bread's devotion is called Of Prayer and Dust and Stars. Look up at the sky and count the stars. Today we're going to be reading Genesis 15, 1 through Six. And that, my friends, will be our scripture for today's of prayer and dust and stars. After this, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your very great reward. But Abraham said, Sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless? And the one who will inherit my estate is Eliezer of Damascus. And Abraham said, You have given me no children, so a servant in my household will be my heir. And then the word of the Lord came to him, This man will, be your, not, will not be your heir, but a son who is your own flesh and blood will be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look up at the skies and count the stars. If indeed you can count them, then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. Abraham believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as righteousness. Hmm, funny how that tied into our story for today, isn't it? Anyway, hey, that was Genesis 15, 1 through 6. And so that was the Daily Bread portion of the program, which was brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2021, a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Don't forget to tune into The Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. All right, my friends. Hey, that was 5 p.m. Got one more song for you, and it'll go like this. Hello, goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I hate to hate to hate to leave you, but I, I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. I said goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. do bye bye. Hey, alrighty. Hey, that was the Shin Show. That was it for me. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the show today. Hopefully you will uh, like the show and share the show as much as possible. 
All right. All righty then. Hey, Rich, uh, 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 Richie Humberto. Hey, I appreciate you sharing nowadays too. You and Steve, both. I appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate so much. All right. Anyway, hey, that's it for the Shin Show. This here's Ben Shendo Brisco saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show. And as always, you know, God loves you. And so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow. Because, well, hey, I'll be here. And I hope that you are too.